I'm Alex Feisley. I'm the CEO of Gravital, and today I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of what we've added in NetMaker 0.8. So a couple of the new features are client support, and most interestingly we have Mac support and window support, and that includes support for WireGuard and Teak, which is blazing fast for Windows. So we've added native support for Mac and Windows, which people have been asking for for a long time. And you can now add Mac and Windows machines as fully meshed clients in your network. We did have external client support before, and that will continue into the future, uh, but now you can also mesh in those nodes. Another feature we've added is relay servers. And to demonstrate that real quickly, I'm going to try to ping my Windows machine from my local. So trying to ping that, it is not going through. And the reason is we have a firewall set up on that Windows machine that only allows access from this guy. And this is a cloud VM we have running in Frankfurt, so pretty far away, so it's pretty high latency. Um, but we've decided this is the only machine that gets that access. So let's say we want to have our other machines get access to there. Well, we can make that one machine that has access into a relay. And it could relay to any of the other machines in our network if it wanted. It could relay to all of them. But for this demonstration, we're just going to relay to this one node. So that's going to take a second to pop up. But once it does, we're going to see that the allowed IP is here. Oh, and it's already gone through. So the allowed IPs have changed, and we now have that relay range right there. And what that means is we should be able to now ping that address through our relay server. And a trace route on that should show we're going through the dot two address, which is our relay server. And there you have it. That's pretty much how a relay server works. You can take it off if you don't want to use it and then it'll go back to a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So those are the main updates, and a couple additional things we've added are the ability to fine-tune MTU, and you can set a default MTU for your network uh, or set it individually on nodes. This can be very helpful for debugging situations where connections are maybe handshaking but not going through completely. Um, and yeah, those are really the main updates. There's a couple new things in the client you'll notice. We've also added experimental support for user space WireGuard with WireGuard Go and BoringTon. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can try out those as well. They should work pretty well. Uh, they work very similarly to the Mac implementation. So go ahead and try that, that out too. Um, and in addition, just to mention it, we do have subscription plans for companies who are looking for additional support. So if you're interested in that, you can check out gravital.com slash plans. So that's it. Yeah. Go ahead and check out version 0.8. Thanks.